In just two years, XR has played a pivotal role in putting the climate and ecological emergency firmly on the agenda. Together with the school strikers, we've turned environmental activism on its head, spread to 96 countries and brought love, rage and a new vitality to the world of resistance. But where now, in 2021, after a year of COVID and with the fight back from business as usual gearing up? In the UK, we're at a crucial juncture. The government is drunk on power and trying to stifle all dissent. But most of us want change. We want to seize the opportunity to come out of lockdown and begin to be the future we need. We have a unique opportunity this year to transform the world of protest and accelerate towards a new political reality. And the hapless actions of the government and police are focusing the minds of everyone. We have the opportunity to move from being divided by our focus on different symptoms to being united by those symptoms shared cause. Here's a peer reviewed 100% scientific analysis of the current landscape. Nonchalantly chewing the pondweed with each other, the dinosaurs, blissfully unaware of their impending extinction. Running through their feet, the rats and mice, resilient, advanced, future creatures, XR and Black Lives Matter, Sisters Uncut and the essential workers. Sure, a few of us will be picked off by Patel, or heaven help us, the SWP, but this is the landscape we enter out of lockdown. A brilliant chance for the resistance to unite across race and class, to first kill the bill, and then build. We must put the narcissism of small differences down. We must stop looking left or right because we've not moved but smashed the Overton window. And the context that 2021 offers is perfect. We've got just over two months until all lockdown restrictions are likely to be removed and seven until COP26 focuses the world's environmental attention on Glasgow. When the former happens, we need to be ready. This is our opportunity to be the allies we'd like to see in the movement of movements. Nobody's trained harder, built more resilient capacity than XR in the last couple of years, and we have a vital responsibility to reach out and support our friends. In UK m and we'll be doing all we can to mobilise for a movement of movements uprising. There's a national demonstration being called already for Saturday 26th of June. Like it or not, we do not exist in a bubble and we need to be cognizant of the moment we're in to build friendship and solidarity. We're not going to forget the emergency, of course, nor stop supporting the many actions in our rebellion waves, but we have already been doing unifying work with other movements resisting the bill and have had really good early meetings with the coalition organising the June demo. This isn't XR being subsumed or deciding that A to B marches are the thing to do. It's about us being good allies. It won't stop us being right royal pains in the arse too. We're still going to be holding those people and companies who seek to accelerate us into extinction to account. So while we are being good allies, we'll also be, what's the phrase? The bad boyfriend. We'll be revisiting the crooks in the press around that time too. There's plenty for us all to do. But now is the time to mobilise around values the whole movement of movements can share. Care, kindness, friendship, unifying values. Now is the time for us all to pull together. That's going to be the overarching m M&M and position as we come out of lockdown. Then we have our second key point, COP26. But we have to be realistic. COP is going to disappoint us. It's going to be a clusterfuck of reformist, business as usual and lobbyist greenwash. And we need to anticipate that. And that gives us a second great opportunity to go beyond COP. So in late summer, we bring an ever larger movement together for a pre-COP rebellion, where we preempt failure and set the agenda firmly on the need for a new political reality before the corporate courtiers at COP try and tell us there's actually nothing to worry about. We focus not on how government is letting us down, but on how we will create that new reality. We will stop waving fists and start weaving the future, because if we don't imagine the impossible, who the hell else will? So this is what we're focusing on. A tactical shift from symptoms to cause. Mobilisation around shared values of care. A clarion call to the movement of movements. And finally, as attention inevitably turns to the environment in the run-up to Glasgow, beyond COP. Think of Extinction Rebellion in 2021 as a skimming stone, hitting the water, continuing to create ripples, but bouncing on to the next key goal. The bounce is crucial. We must have momentum or we sink. 
So there's a post-lockdown bounce and a pre-COP bounce, which is vital as it keeps us on the front foot, ensures that the planetary agenda is ours to be determined. We must pull together in care, in love, in rage. Because together, we will win. <laughs>